ओम सहना सहना ओम भुनक्तु सह वीर करवा वह तेजस्वीनावधी तमस्तु माँ विद्विषा वह ओम शांति 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 हरि ओम श्री गुरुभ्यो नमः हरि ओम वसुदेवसुत देव कंस चाणूर मर्दनम देवकी परमानंद कृष्ण वंदे जगद्गु कृष्ण वंदे जगद्गु so we are um we finish verse 3 of chapter 8 where krishna bhagwan started answering the questions <clears throat> and now we are on um verse 4 so it's like a combination together the six questions so i'm going to just since i already gave a lot of background and all that and everything as we go we will kind of revise the other ones also so here is the verse 4 अभूत क्षरो भाव पुषस्ति दैवत अज्ञोहमेवात्र देहे देह भृता वर अभूत अभूत एंड इन परंतु इज मटीरियल नेचर और एलिमेंट्स क्षर पेरिशेब भाव आस्पेक्ट यू नो हिंदी में हम बोलते हैं उसका भाव क्या है यू you नो know, तो The broad meaning is aspect or nature. Purusha, the indweller or cosmic soul, and this word uh, Anilji had asked, and it, it's a little bit technical word, so we will go much in detail what exactly it means here. Jo is and adhi devatam, adhi deva that which underlines all the divinities. Deva is divinities, and we'll see in what context. Adhi yagnya, that which. underlies all worships and it has a much broader meaning aham is i eva is alone atra dehe in this body deha brutam of the embodied means the jiva vara o noblest he is telling arjuna you are the noblest he really encourages him many times with such beautiful adjectives um so you know remember this is a subtle subject so each term has a lot in it so just stay with it and soak into it and then in the end we will get it so we saw that in the previous verse bhagwan answered three questions you know what was brahma adhyatma and karma and the, we saw the karma definition was so incredible that what actually um, constitute a karma and others is just a waste waste of time so you know that should make us think the kind of things you know which should or should not do gives us a guideline and now in this one three more questions are answered so together uh, we bhagwan reveals a six fold expression of god that's how we have to look at it and um anybody knowing all these six expression can say that hey i know god in, in the totality if you just know one aspect and you just keep focusing and deny the others you don't know bhagwan in totality so very very important and then um to bring the point across uh nikhilanand ji was a master of examples gave such a fantastic example i'm sure you have heard of it is from our vedanta only this example but it's become very popular in india that six blind men trying to understand what a elephant is you guys have heard of this whoever has just nod so i <laughs> I know that you have okay. Others will really enjoy this example if you have not heard it. So just think of it that these there are six men who are like great philosophers, but they are blind. Okay, God forbid. I mean, but just an example. So just so now, उनके सामने एक elephant लाक लाक किस कोई ले आया बोला बताओ ये क्या है तो वो you know they try to experience the elephant now. not seeing what what it is so they approach the elephant and obviously if there are elephant is a very big animal right so if six people approach they're going to approach him from all different sides so they approach the uh, and and then they because they are blind they start touching that you know hey what is this so so one who is standing near the trunk so he touches the trunk and say ha oh, 
this looks this elephant looks like a tube like thing because a trunk is like a you know long thing so because he focuses so much on one aspect and he deeply try to understand it which is not wrong but he thinks that the entire elephant is like that okay and then uh, the one who is uh, touching uh, you know the uh, say the leg he will say oh ye to khambe jaisa hai so he he will define uh, the elephant like a khamba you know uh, or or a pillar koi pooch pakad liya kisi ne koi piche tha so you know this is oh it's like a rope just think you know it's some imagination so this is what going to happen so now all are expressing the some part of elephant but each one is only talking about one expression hmm? and and then so if you put them together now somehow you know they they kind of put their notes together and then they conceptualize what it is is still not going to be the right <laughs> because you know so it's going to be some hodgepodge over there you know they might miss so many th- aspects of it and um so it will not be like an elephant but the one who's got the eyes is like a knowledge eyes is compared to knowledge over here in this example he will see the entire elephant and he will see all say you know six aspects of it every side of it uski poonch uski pair uske kaan wan sab dekhega wo and he will understand this what this um elephant is and how does he express himself in the all different varieties of way he will know so that's what this this uh, whole exam i thought such a fantastic example you know so what happens is that uh, that um, the one who does not know the elephant in this particular example in all his expression will get confused about it but one who knows elephant in all his aspect wo aankhe bhi band kar le to bhi usko he will be able to experience the elephant because he's seen it already see what i'm saying so so this is uh, how it is and um, similarly if we want we understand god in the totality we will know that those who believe in nirguna and nirakar they are talking about the same brahman the people who talk about saguna and sakar they are talking about the same same god and those who talk about the creative power oh this world came in manifestation or a world was created you can see the word create if you want to you know the the power that is there they are talking about the shakti of that bhagwan they are also talking about the same god and then uh, let's see there's one more example he gave and those who will say look i don't believe in all of that i believe in myself theek <laughs> hai okay you believe in yourself you know your own self the core of your own self is also bhagwan so he's talking about bhagwan <laughs> you know so i thought that this example was so fantastic and how nikhila energy related this to this this whole thing it really opened your opens your eyes so um Mm. and then suppose somebody says okay you know they're not thinking about any of that they're talking about nature oh look how powerful the nature is and you know the you know okay ye jo hai na theories hoti hain apne modern science mein big bang and farana dikra all these kind of things they are talking about in nature only right so they are also talking about god according to vedanta ap nature is also part of no no matter what part you look at science you know your personal uh, ego or anything everything just points to the same thing so these are various aspect of the same reality so keeping that in mind let's move forward in this particular verse that he talking about adibhuta right now now, now we are at adibhuta bhagwan is defining adibhuta it's a very simple definition he's he gave but it has a lot packed in it because in the previously he talked about brahma and he said he was akshara paramam brahma remember from previous verse so he used two adjectives akshara mean that that doesn't get destroyed or decay or you know modification doesn't happen and kshara is exactly opposite of it so adibhuta he calls it kshara bhava that's how he defines it so that means these five elements of the are of the nature akshara they are constantly decaying constantly changing you know and when we experience this world which is made up of this five element we see that they constantly undergo change modification that's its nature that bhava word i use that's its intrinsic nature of these five elements you know that they constantly change and then these 
main thing to remember is it's it's the expression of the same reality. So um, when we are experiencing this world, and you know we are actually experiencing the reality alone in that form, that's how we have to look at it. And in, in, if you go back to Bhagavad Gita, uh, oh sorry, we are in Bhagavad Gita in chapter ten. That's how our, uh, Krishna Bhagwan is going to tell Arjun because Arjun was like you know. You know, okay, you you said yeah, I should think about God, and we are here also in this class where we were talking about hey, how to think about God all the time. It's not possible, right? As a laktai hamko, it's not possible. But if you believe in this this one, when you open your eyes, everything that you see that is God, right? And when you close your eyes and within you go, that's also God. So either uh, it's like open eye meditation or closed eye. It's the same thing. Well, there's an advanced stage, but there, it is possible to see God everywhere if you understand what he's talking about over here. So, um, so coming back to this uh, Sharabhava, that th this nature of this world is to constantly changing, but we know, and I'm, a lot of repetition is going to happen. This is how it soaks into you. That, you know, we know that a supreme reality is beyond all change. So, it, now go back to that, you know, para and apara. Prakriti. Okay? So everything kind of gels over here that, you know, there is a changing aspect of Bhagwan, non-changing. And then another very, very important thing is they are not, actually they are not two different entities. It's just the same reality appearing like a changing world. That's another very important thing. Because the moment we say two things, we say divide. Kar dete That's why in, in our, uh, you know, Puranic stories, they say Radha Krishna is one. कितनी बार सुना है हमको समझ में नहीं आता हाउ कैन दे बी टू पीपल नो एक को दो में विभाजित कर दिया बस और कुछ नहीं यू नो सो दैट्स व्हाट इट इज सो एंड देन एग्जांपल अगेन अपनी खिलानन जी केम अप विद दिस वेरी नाइस एग्जांपल दैट दे यूज अ लॉट इन वेदांता आल्सो दैट सन रेज आर एक्चुअली वन व्हाइट राइट बट इट कैन कम इनटू सेवन कलर्स इफ यू पास इट थ्रू अ प्रिज्म इट बिकम्स सेवन कलर्स सो सेम वे that you know these great elements you know they are bhagwan only but when they come they express themselves they they become this vast world so many different aspects to it you know that's what it is so um, and then constantly changing constantly dying the sharabhava you know there are many things packed into it undergoing modification and now if you think about it even actually it it doesn't get destroyed okay just changes form that's another very important thing and scientifically also they say matter you cannot destroy it can change form hum log ko lagta hai dekhne mein ki destroy ho raha it's like kisi koi baraf le lo ek you know baraf ka silli le lo aur pehle it is a big form is there hard and all that and then you know ice i'm talking about and then you start heating it and it will melt and it'll change the shape right it'll change is happening become liquid from hard and now you keep uh, giving more heat and then it will go bash ban ke ud jayegi and we say oh it got barf ki sili got destroyed but you know that water form mein abhi bhi hai wo <laughs> that's how you know but hamari drishti mein aur hamare experience mein wo shay hota jata hai and and then the other other aspect is that this whole universe with this you know material nature Even more than a fraction of second, it doesn't remain the same. हम लोगों को लगता है कि हम same चीज को देख रहे हैं मगर नहीं and we have discussed it and our body also we discussed it that it you know when I wake up tomorrow morning मेरे को लगे I'm the same person but how many cells have died and how many new ones have come you know only science scientists वो भी नहीं जान पाएंगे but at least उनको ये आभास है कि ऐसा होता है okay and then he also made one comment which was kind of interesting he saying we all want to live permanently in this world. <laughs> you know what we know because we call it oh security hona chahiye you know kuch hona chahiye but we cannot because our body is made up shara so it is going to go so these are the things you know that to contemplate upon because that is the very nature of the world and there is a very very famous saying of chinmaya nand ji and i think meena ji and, and uh, sushil ji will know this he made a statement you know change is the changeless law of this world change is the changeless law <laughs> imagine such a it's such a deep thinking so everybody should remember this one if i had a board i would have written this because that's what i do this i write it on the top because this explains everything you know then we will not be complaining about anything 
but it's hard sometimes to remember but as more we remember more we will be okay so coming back to the thing that here changing world is also expression of god that's the conclusion okay? and then the next word he discusses in in this one is adi daivam and here anil ji your question will be answered so bhagwan refers to this adi dev as a purusha so at from one aspect purusha is also expression of that supreme reality so when we say pure consciousness you know technically usko purusha nahi bolte but once in a while in the in the upanishad i have seen them use the word purusha for that they take that liberty but if you go super technical in 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 vedanta or somewhere the exact definition then once that maya aspect comes and mixes with 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 this or you know with the pure brahman then it's called purusha okay just remember that so and then we have used the word uh, you know the cosmic universal person hiranyagarbha you know so hiranyagarbha or hum log uh, dusra technical word hai ishwar वेन वेदांत में जिसको ईश्वर बोलते हैं ना वो उसको कर्म फल दाता वगैरह भी बोलते हैं बिकॉज ही इज नाउ एक्सप्रेस सुपर रियालिटी इज एक्सप्रेस यू नो एज दिस यूनिवर्स इन सटल फॉर्म टोटल टोटल फॉर्म टोटल माइंड एंड ऑल देर सो मेनी डिफरेंट वर्ड्स इट्स कॉल हिरण्य गर्भ एंड दैट कॉल पुरुषा सो उसको ना अधि देव बोला है यहाँ पे पुरुषा को एंड विल सी वाई यू नो बिकॉज दिस कॉस्मिक person is actually controlling everything or our minds and our everything is intellect is connected with it even though i feel like i'm separate we have discussed it many times that we you have different equipment electrical equipments is, are there each one is an independent equipment from one aspect but the electricity that flows in it that makes it function coming from the power house and that's one you know electricity is one same way and then he so nikhilanand ji actually gave another brilliant example in our body there are millions of cells billions god knows how much i think my husband might be able to tell how many i don't know so but each cell has an individual function also it is like its own entity but it is not completely independent right it is it's working for that body together uh, body is a controller kind of thing because when when that jiva you know when the subtle body quits all those cells disintegrate completely right so that's how you have to see that there is this cosmic person which is hiranya garbha total mind purusha whatever whatever name you like you can call it you know it, that is 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 all powerful all knowing sarva shaktiman sarvagya and that is the adi dev in us okay उसका अंश हमारे में है जो वो जैसे कि इलेक्ट्रिसिटी पावर हाउस में है एकदम पावरफुल है लेकिन उसका उसका थोड़ी सी धारा एक इक्विपमेंट में जा रही है वैसे हमको सोचना चाहिए कि कि दैट इज कमिंग एंड ऑल्सो जस्ट फॉर टेक्निकल पर्पसेस दिस पुरुषा कैन बी कॉल्ड सगुण ब्रह्म ऑल्सो दैट्स वो उसका नाम पुरुषा दिया है बिकॉज एंड देन देर इज अ पुरुष सुप्तम ऑल्सो इन इन अवर वेदाज एंड ऑल दैट दैट डिस्क्राइबिंग दिस दिस पुरुषा so you know coming back to the whole thing that you know the the brahman that is nirguna and nirakar aksharam that is the same brahma when it comes in a in a you know expresses in a jiva kala adhyatma or atma you can say and the same brahm when it expresses as a creative power then it becomes this creates this world the same brahman when it expresses in the world uh it it then five elements you know come in uh, what you would call uski rachna ho jati hai or it expresses as a five element and the same power expresses as a ishwar or a hiranyagarbha and and this cosmic uh, person controls all the beings and now the same brahman is also expressing as adhi yagna next word is adhi yagna what is adhi yagna you know so adhi yagna is an individual jiva so individual jiva when this particular jiva identifies with the body and mind and then kind of creates a separate personality for itself like we are over here you know right now 15 people or whatever we all have a distinct personality right 
So, and then if whoever you meet, everybody has a distinct personality. And this personality performs various types of actions. And then, you know, in our life, we get results of the action. So all that hoopla that is happening in our life, you know, that is also expression of the same reality. And Adi Yagnya is, because the way Bhagwan, this is a subtle subject. So the way he, he expresses is, I am, I alone am the Adi Yagnya. That's what he says in this verse. In this body, you know, Adi Yagnya Aham Matra Dehe. This word is um, Atra Dehe, sorry, not Matra, what am I saying? Yeah, the, the, each word is saying Adi Yagnya Aham Eva Atra Deve. Mehi Sirf Hoon is roop mein, adhi yagna ke roop mein, in this body. So, how do we interpret this? That in this body is like, you know, whatever functions are happening, it's getting powered by that same, you know? A perception is that I'm seeing things and I'm, I'm you know, contemplating, I'm thinking, all, jitti bhi activities humare mein ho rahi hai na, wo uske power dwara ho rahi hai, so that's why Bhagwan alone is involved in it. Like, like uh, Chinmaya Nanji used to say, you know, that koi bohut bada kirdar hoga samjho, koi scientist hai, koi artist hai, koi ye hoi, world famous and all that. You know, he is, everything is happening within him because the Bhagwan is expressing through him. Moment, you know, the person, jiva quits, no matter how great you are, <laughs> you become dust. <laughs> you know? So, uska power kitna hai, dekho. You know? So the power wo maha se aara hai, adhi yagna. Humare mein jo yagya ho raha hai. Ek poetic language mein samjho express kiya hua hai, adhi yagya ho raha hai, humare mein wo sab uska power wahi se aata hai. So these are the six important uh, expressions of it. Okay, so then everybody should remember the six ones, huh, now? Because we have hashed it out so many times. I'm going to one last time summarize it too. So it just kind of goes deep into our mind. So first was Brahma, second was Adhyatma. Third was karma, and then was adhi bhuta, adhi daiva, and adhi yagna. So these are the things. Okay? So just to summarize the whole thing, so it kind of stays with us, that that param brahma, that supreme reality, nirgun nirakar, which is beyond all names and form, and which is paramam, usko paramam bola na, aksharam paramam. So that same brahma alone is myself, that with the capital S, my, my atma, and um, and then my own uh, consciousness is not different from that Brahma. That's another way you can look at it. And that Brahma alone is a creative power that projects the world. And that creative power is an expression of that Brahma, which is in each one of us also. So, so that's another way to remember it. Like the creative power is there, the cosmic level and the creative power within us. And then we have that power to act, you can say. That's also an expression of Brahma. And then um, same Brahma expressed as the five elements in the cosmic world. And, and uh, so it's not only the power to create, but it also expresses at the world. Material also, like I was talking about, that you know how the makadi has a material, takes it out of itself. And then uh, the Adibhuta, and... Um, this world is Adibhuta and the Ishwara part, yes. The Hiranya Garbha who controls and regulates. Okay, because koi sochega ki ye yaha par bada chaos hai. No, 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 it's not called a chaos, it's called cosmos for a reason. But there is a harmony in there, there's a control in there. Hum loko aisa lagta hai ki chaos hai, magar yaha bohat kuch, har, har ek five elements ka bade strict rules hai. Tabhi to science bhi progress kar sakta hai. Agar strict rule nahi hoega, if air will not act like a air, you will never be able to do anything. So there's a lot of um, harmony and a lot of control is there. And that controller is that Ishwara Hiranyagarbha. And then all the activity in this world is, uh, that power is coming from that Adi Deva and Purusha. And in the individual, when he performs action and gets result and everything, wo Adi Yagna ho raha hai. And that is, uske piche bhi Bhagwani hai. So, this is how Bhagwan replies these three, sorry, six questions in these two verses briefly. And the seventh question, he's going to explain in detail now, from now on. Next verse, we'll start with the seventh question. Remember what it was that the, at the time of death, how do I rec recognize you? So, and, and, you know, 
Nikhilanandji made a very interesting observation. He said that the entire chapter in some ways is focused for that seventh question. So you will see in so much detail that by the time we finish, you will know what I should be doing, how I should be living my life, and what I should be doing at the end of my life. Well, hoga ya nahi, wo upar wala jane. You know, vidhi puri bata di unhone. So it was coffee, he will go in detail and all that. And why did he do that? Because obviously Bhagwan thought it's a very important thing. So we have to give it important. Bhagwan gave it that much important that it sat question puche or do do verses me che fata fat bata di unhone. Or sara baki chapter unhone chapter or seventh question me liya. That was very, very, you know, we know it will come Prayana Kale. Prayana Kale word is, you know, time of death. So before, you know, he ended his, uh, you know, discourse on this particular verse, he, he made a very interesting comment. He's saying that does not mean that we should, you know, wait to, to realize Bhagwan at the time of death. He said, abhi maja maja kar lo. You know, jab, jab marenge tab hum log saath na karenge. <laughs> he said, Asan. Lekin on the other side of it is, at the time of death also, you can get this. You can know and recognize God. So both you have to remember. And how it's possible, he's going to tell us. But anyway, we are focused on this verse now for the three things. So this is what we are going to focus on today. Just read the rest of it. Any question, comment? Anybody want to add anything on this uh, Adi Bhut, Adi Dev and Adi Yagna? Hmm? Krishna Ji, you have something to say? I, you can't... I, you have to unmute Krishna ji. We, nobody can hear you right now. Ha. Bolo. Wo ek dhistan batate hain na ki koi train mein chara to wo jo bag thi na apne sar pe leke baith gaya khada ra. To sab usko bol rahe the ki bhai ye kya kar raha hai tu? Bag sar pe kyu rakhi hai? Train tere ko leke ja rahi hai to usme rakh de na to train teri bag bhi leke jayegi. To the dhistan says bhai hum log bhi aise hi hain. Hum is safar mein yeah, very, very good Trishtan. Yes. Yeah, where Bhagwan chapter nine mein, where Bhagwan will say that that you know if you surrender to me. I take yeah. care of your yoga and shema. And that's exactly that Gatri Wali Baad ki. I will take care of what you need and I'll protect it. You know? Yeah. So that's As what he's going to talk about. So yeah. it's coming. Like the creator is there. If the creator is there, then the creation he has created. Yes. So in his memory, he will go through the life of the morning and the evening. If you look at the table, then you will see that the carpenter is there. Hmm. Hmm. तो ऐसे ये जो प्रकृति भी बनी है जो भी रचना है कि क्रिएटर पे दृष्टि डालो तो फिर उसकी याद में जीवन गुजरता है यस yes. और जो आपने क्रिएशन का बोला ना तो एक्चुअली मैं हरे कृष्णा में जाती हूं ना तो वहां पर दे आल्सो हैव वन लेक्चर एंड ऑल दैट समटाइम दे से वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग दृष्टांत एंड ऑल दैट बट दे लुक एट इट फ्रॉम द वेस्टर्न पर्सपेक्टिव टू बिकॉज़ दे हैव ऑल स्टडीड द वेस्टर्न थिंग एंड नाउ दे हैव स्टडीड ईस्टर्न सो दे देयर लेक्चर्स हैव सम इंटरेस्टिंग uh expressions of you know how they explain things so he was just saying you know and they are a little bit crude sometimes too they will mock you know hum log you know hum log mein himmat nahi hoti kisi ko mock karne ki because you know chalo sab apni apni jagah theek hai so usne bola ki ye jo big bang theory hai na ek tarah se aisi theory hai ki uh tumne ek ek uh, bomb liya aur aise pheka upar ha aur zor se dhamaka hua aur phir ऐसे सृष्टि बन गई यू नो ये घर बन गया ये बन गया वो बन गया ऐसे कैसे हो सकता है विदाउट क्रिएटर कुछ हार मैं चाहिए आई मीन कोई एक चीज को तुम पकड़ लो कितना उसमें एक हारमनी है यू नो कि कैसे बना हुआ है कि यू नो छोटी से छोटी एक सेल को भी ले लो उसमें इतना इंफॉर्मेशन है इतना ये तो एम ही कि जब धमाका हुआ और हो गया इस सो लूडे क्रस यू से जब तक उसके पीछे कोई कॉस्मिक इंटेलिजेंस नहीं होगा मतलब यू डोंट नीड टू बी अ रॉकेट साइंटिस्ट टू सी दिस राइट सो सो सम थिंग्स दैट दे टोल्ड अस एंड देन किस यू नो समाइम दे से ओ दे सेड भगवान ने वो गोवर्धन पर्तन गोवर्धन क्या बोलते हैं पर्वत कैसे उठा लिया 
अपनी उंगली पे हमें जो ऐसे कैसे हो सकता है जो पीपल लुका ना नए नए लोग आते हैं तो इन लोग के पास सारे जवाब होते हैं तो बोलते तुम ये धरती को देखो किसने उठाया इसको कैसे घूम रही है इतनी सारी बड़ी वाली और पता नहीं इतने बड़े बड़े है तो बोला अगर वो जो वो ऐसे छोड़ फेंक फेंक सकता है धरती को घूम रही है मस्ती से वो नहीं कर सकता क्या यू नो अगर वो ह्यूमन फॉर्म में आ गया तो वो तो कुछ भी कर सकता है तो कितना फंटेस्टिक जवाब दिया उसने एक्सपीरियंस किया है तो अनुभव की वाणी होती है राइट 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 बट इसका भी कोई लॉजिक नो बडी कैन डिनाई है तुम उनके सामने हजार लॉजिक रख लो उनके सामने वो तो फिर भी सारी हिलाते रहेंगे पर उनका कोई इलाज नहीं है फिर यू नो दे कैन जस्ट बिलीव व्हाट दे वांट व्हाट कैन यू डू नथिंग यू कैन डू बट एनीवे फॉर दिस इज फॉर अस बिकॉज़ वी हैव श्रद्धा वी हैव द वी कैन अंडरस्टैंड यू नो एंड आई थिंक भगवान इज वेरी लॉजिकल हाउ ही सेड एक्सप्रेस एवरीथिंग बट एनी अदर कमेंट और क्वेश्चन एनीवन वांट्स टू ऐड एनीथिंग एवरीबॉडी क्लियर ऑन द सिक्स टर्म्स Only comment I had was uh, mm-hmm. the example you gave of elephant. Mm-hmm. This is the same example Ram Krishna gave mm-hmm. that uh, a blind man comes and describes the elephant, and somebody describes his trunk and somebody a snake, the tail. Mm-hmm. So he said the idea is everybody who sees God and all the religions who have described God, they've seen through this small hole a portion of it. Mm-hmm. they are all correct, correct. but yeah. not describing the whole thing yeah so and that, that was his example yeah yeah absolutely and i mean uh, that's why i think bhagavad gita is like usko sara upanishad bola gaya right bhagwan right. ne usme sab kuch bataya hai aur isiliye you know bhakti yog and gyan yog and karma yog and raj yog everything is there par agar koi ek cheez mein fixate ho jata hai na usko bhagavad gita bhi waisi likhte lag liye <laughs> oh, it is only bhakti, उसमें तो भक्ति प्रधान है कोई बोलेगा कर्मी प्रधान है कोई बोलेगा के एवरी थिंग एज अ प्लेस ऑफ इट एंड इन इन योर लाइफ यू माइट नीड ऑल ऑफ दो डिपेंडिंग ऑन वॉट यूर डूइंग राइट एंड आई वॉज थिंकिंग अबाउट दैट दैट श्लोका दैट वी लर्न अबाउट यू नो आर्थ एंड अर्थार्थी एंड एंड जिज्ञासु एंड ज्ञानी तो भगवान ने बोला ज्ञानी इज पर हम लोग कितने भी ज्ञानी हो जाए जब तक हमारा शरीर है और उसमें कुछ गड़बड़ हो जाता है तो हम लोग आर्थ बन जाते हैं तो इट्स ओके राइट तो अपने माँ बाप से नहीं मांगेंगे हम लोग तो किससे मांगेंगे कुछ जरूरत होगी तो तो इवन दैट इज ओके यू नो सो एकदम से कोई एक ऊंचाई पे पहुंच गया जिसको फर्क ही नहीं पड़ता हो शरीर में कुछ भी हम लोग उस स्टेज में नहीं पहुंचे हैं कुछ गड़बड़ होता है तो भगवान याद आता है कि भाई हेल्प मी टू गेट बेटर यू नो सो एवरी थिंग एज इज प्लेस एंड टाइम एंड एंड the formula is a given so we can just use all of it for for our benefit that's how i look at it okay so shall we read no other comment any volunteer to read the half of this commentary we finished another half is there mm okay anil ji you want to read then it starts with this adibhuta nahi the adibhuta is the perishable existence as a contrast to the imperishable aksha is the perishable equipment shra the world of prakriti through which the potential dynam- dynamism vigor and glory of the infinite self express themselves between the shra and nakshra there is as much difference as between a steam engine and the steam a running car and the horse power in the petrol a singing radio and the electric current in short by the term perishable shra the whole world of phenomena of the universe is indicated subjectively the equipments of cognition feeling and perception constitute in the main the destructible or the perishable factors in us so swami ji 
uh, summarized in a very beautiful way with a very interesting angle the entire thing so there are two things kshara and akshara so akshara is that higher reality or you know para and apara me para is is akshara and apara akshara both are needed to express this world so what prakriti se ke dwara bhagwan apne aap ko express kar rahe hain aisa bhi dekh sakte hain tum aur unhone kitna acha example diya ki steam engine aur steam to jo steam engine hai wo prakriti hai wo akshara hai aur steam is akshara it is it is powering it so uske jaise steam engine kitna bhi bada हो और इतना पावरफुल हो जब तक स्टीम नहीं जाएगी कुछ नहीं होने वाला उसमें <laughs> वैसे का वैसे ही पड़ा रहेगा एंड ऑल्सो द ट्रूथ इज दैट स्टीम बाई इट सेल्फ कैन नॉट डू एनी थिंग आई दर यू नो इफ यू वॉन्ट स्टीम वॉन्ट टू एक्सप्रेस इट नीड्स द इंजिन सो नाउ यू सी हाउ दे कॉम्प्लीमेंट इच अदर दैट्स वाई इट्स लाइक शिव एंड शक्ति यू नो जैसे विदाउट शक्ति शिव इज शव यू वर्ड ऑफ दैट बिकॉज कैन डू एनी थिंग and that's why the shakti and you know mother and all those power is so important in india yeah. and then we saw that the perishable nature is the kshara yeah okay go ahead adi deva is the indweller the term indweller adi deva is used to indicate the special faculty that presides over each apparatus of knowledge and activity in the living creatures the presiding deities of the sense organs of the mind and of the intellect are called the devtas which are nothing other than the faculty of vision in the eyes the faculty of audition in the ears the power of smelling in the nose and so on so swami ji explained in a very very scientific manner this indweller or the adi daiva special fa- faculty or purusha that you know we we have this indriyas and there is a there is a devata behind each indriya which makes it possible to happen and our teacher used to give this example it sounds gross to sunne mein magar wo jo aankh hai you know aankh dekhti hai lekin aise aankh ko koi table pe rakh de to nahi dekh pai it has to be connected to our body and there is a power inside it and that's how and then also we know that the the adi dev over there is this you know light you need some kind of light या तो मून लाइट और यू नो स्टार लाइट और सन लाइट सन लाइट से आती है मून लाइट भी तो यू नीड दैट टू सी तो वो अधि देव हो जाता है इन अ टेक्निकल मैनर बट वो सन का भी पावर कहाँ से आ रहा है भगवान से आ रहा है सो दैट्स अनदर वे यू कैन लुक एट दिस अधि देव देर मेनी डिफरेंट वेज यू कैन लुक एट इट यू नो एंड एंड स्वामी जी एक्सप्लेन द स्पेशल फैकल्टी इन ईच वन ऑफ आस दैट यू नो द फैकल्टी ऑफ विजन इन अवर आइज faculty of audition in the ear and power of smelling in the nose is adidev and one more thing that i missed on the previous verse i mean not verse previous previous paragraph that i wanted to bring to your attention that it said the equipments of cognition means our mind and intellect feelings perception also are of destructible and perishable factor in us so hum log kitna usko importance dete hai na so hey that's kshara Don't don't give that. इसका मतलब ये नहीं कि हम लोग कुछ उसको यूज नहीं करें बट यूज इट लाइक एन इक्विपमेंट दैट्स वॉट वी हैव टू रिमेम्बर इट्स हार्ड टू डू बट दैट्स वॉट अधि यज्ञ हियर इन दिस बॉडी आई अलोन एम वी हैव ऑलरेडी सीन दैट द यज्ञ हियर मींस द एक्ट ऑफ परसेप्शन फीलिंग और थॉट एज इन द यज्ञ हियर आल्सो ऑब्लेशंस द सेंस ऑब्जेक्ट्स आर पोर्ड इनटू द yagna alter the sense organs when the devta the particular faculty in its in it gets propitiated propitiated and invoked and as a blessing from it we again we gain the fruit thereof like the knowledge of the perception knowledge of the perception in this adi yagna in the subjective yagna act of perception it is quite evident that the one vital factor that dominates the entire activity is the self the principle of life so adhi yagna ye thoda sa difficulty hoti hai samajhne mein right kya hai so yagna hum log bolte hain yagya 
नॉर्थ इंडिया में यज्ञ जो होता है ना उसमें आहुति डालते हैं एंड यू नो कुछ उसका फल मिलता है सो so, हमारे शरीर में भगवान ने कहा कि मैं ही अधि यज्ञ हूँ हर एक शरीर में सिर्फ मैं ही हूँ ऐसा लैंग्वेज उन्होंने यूज किया तो so, हमारे शरीर का जो यज्ञ चल रहा है कि हम लोग की जब जो पांच इंद्रिया है जैसे पांच पंडित हों जस्ट लुक एट इट दैट वे यू नो बोलते हैं कि यज्ञ में पांच पंडित बिठाते थे पांच हमारी इंद्रिया हैं वो आहूति ला रही हैं यू नो एंड पोरिंग इट इन इन देयर हमको सब समझ में आ रहा है एंड ऑल दैट तो ये एक यज्ञ चल रहा है उसके पीछे मैं ही हूं दैट्स हाउ यू हैव टू लुक एट इट दैट मेक्स इट क्लियर बाय बाय गिविंग दिस डेफिनेशंस द लॉर्ड इज ऑन द होल सजेस्टिंग with a subtle undercurrent of the implications that the eternal self alone is the real and that all else are delusionary delusory supreme impositions upon it therefore to know the self is to know everything and having known the eternal as one's own real nature when is free to act or not to act and to play or not to play in any field of the not self so he's just telling you that you know that 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 um, consciousness or this reality that's the one real and everything else is a superimposition upon it appearing disappearing whatever is happening and once you know you get established in that highest self then you become totally free tumko janm lena hai to tum loge nahi lena hai nahi loge tumhara control hoga complete you know you if you want to do something you can do don't want to do it's like you know koi ek bahut bade sampatti ka malik ho aur uske paas khub sara dhan ho taki wo sab kuch kar sake apni zindagi mein wo kaam kare ya nahi kare uski marzi hai usko khane peene ke liye kaam karne ki zarurat nahi hai may be a poor example but i'm saying wo apni marzi ka malik ho jata hai waisi he just telling you that you know the highest level what happens mm-hmm. umaji here uh, the word the last word not self is it the same as adibhuta yes exactly you got it right now you can say apara prakriti or adibhuta exactly mm-hmm. an individual who lives in the awareness of this knowledge ever conscious of the play of the self at all levels of his personality physical mental and intellectual such an individual naturally comes to experience himself as a divine witness observing the very process of death that clips off layer by layer his self cho- chosen connections with the not self so i know this is a little mystical language as swami ji itself himself used but he's just telling you that once who becomes aware of this entire process and understand bhagwan with all six aspects and all that then he becomes a witness you know hum log bolte hain na that witness in us is that bhagwan and then he's saying that even if jo jo na bola na the process of death that clips off layer by layer the self chosen connection with uh, sorry um, with the non self means दूसरे ढंग से बोला ना कि नेति नेति जिसको बोलते हैं ये भी भगवान ने ये भी भगवान ने ये भी भगवान ने तो अगर उसको कुछ होता भी है तो ही नोज की ही डजेंट गेट डिस्टर्ब दैट्स वाई दिस सेंस एंड सेजेस अभी हम लोग के पास वो वैसी मेंटल शक्ति आई नहीं है कि भाई उनको कोई फिजिकल बीमारी वगैरह भी होते हैं दे डोंट गेट फेस्ड हम लोग ऊपर नीचे कूदने लगते हैं ना कुछ होता है तो मगर ये लोग बड़े स्टैब्लिश दे आर एस्टैब्लिश इन इट दैट्स वाई इट इज they can they can be a, a witness they can be a observer you know we are we get still hum kitna bhi sikh le hum log abhi bhi conditioned hai <laughs> but i guess it gets a little better that's what and, and it's very interesting the last line self chosen connections hmm. yeah kisi ne nahi kaha ki bhai tum hi nobody puts it on us hum log oh yeah we and it is self chosen disconnection also जो हमको yeah. करना होता है दोनों तरफ से राइट एंड आई थिंक दैट व्हेन इट कम्स टू किसी ने बोला नहीं हम लोग ही पकड़ लेते हैं वो वो दैट दृष्टांत आई लव इट सो मच एंड आई मे हैव यूज्ड इट बट देयर आर सम न्यू पीपल इन द क्लास सो आई विल यूज दैट दृष्टांत दैट देयर वाज वन मैन हु अप्रोचेस अ महात्मा एंड ही सेज मैं तो बहुत परेशान हूं यू नो बस मेरे को ये सारी दुनिया मेरे को परेशान कर रही है यू नो ये करो वो करो एंड यू नो परेशान हो गया हूं मैं तो एकदम तो मेरे को कोई उपाय बताओ सो देन नहीं अभी कल सुबह आना 
अभी नहीं बताऊंगा कल सुबह बताऊंगा इतने टाइम दे दिया उसको जब वो आया तो वो एक पेड़ पकड़ के हक करके खड़े थे महात्मा यू हर्ड इट राइट बट अदर पीपल हु वट आर यू डूइंग वाई वाई यू नो वाई यू होल्डिंग दिस ट्री सिंग आई कॉन्ट लीव प्लीज हेल्प मी इसे महात्मा जी यू डोंट नो दैट मच ट्री इज नॉट होल्डिंग यू यू आर होल्डिंग द ट्री लीव इट कम डाउन दैट्स वॉट तेरा आंसर है ये द वर्ल्ड इज नॉट यू नो होल्डिंग यू यू आर होल्डिंग द वर्ल्ड बिकॉज यू ऑलवेज इवन आई समटाइम्स थिंग ओ माई गॉड ये है वो है आई कंप्लीटली फॉर गेट दैट दैट दिस कनेक्शन पावर भगवान हैज गिवन इट टू अस वी जस्ट डोंट नॉट यूज इट येट यू नो एंड दैट्स वॉट भगवान कॉल वैराग्य इन भगवद गीता एनी वे यू नो मैन ही सेट द पर्सन इज वैरागी मीन्स यू यू डोंट गिव दैट इम्पोर्टेंस टू दैट कनेक्शन लाइक वी डू So I thought there was a lot That's, packed in this. Yeah, go ahead, Anuji. The most interesting thing is, hmm. as we lose these connections, we feel so much better. Yeah. Yet it is so hard to leave the connections. So it is like what Krishna ji said: we are putting our guttri down when yeah. you lose a connection. It's not like we are not, guttri is still there. We can use yeah, it when yeah. we want to, right? So it, nobody is saying that run away or do something or your family is there and all that, but. जो हम लोग को बोझ लगता है ना वो नहीं होना चाहिए दैट्स द डिफरेंस आई थिंक बिकॉज ध्यान नो भगवान इज नॉट टेलिंग की कनेक्शन छोड़ के सब गुफा में बैठ जाओ इज जस्ट टेलिंग की वो इंटरनल माइंड से कनेक्शन उसका तोड़ना पड़ेगा हम लोग को डिटैचमेंट एंड देन इन दी एंड हैव द प्रसाद बुद्धि दैट वट एवर हैपन्स इज बिकॉज ऑफ वट एवर ही थिंग्स दैट इट शुड हैपन Mm-hmm. So you want me to read the next line? Yes, please. What happens to one who leaves the body in the awareness of the self? Listen. See how Swami Ji has explained it so beautifully. Leaves the body in the awareness of the self. That is the I main. Not like Bhagwan ka naam le liya. Agar ham log koi Krishna Krishna bhi karenge, we don't know who Krishna is. <laughs> Then again, it's not going to happen. Think about it. The, okay, I, I think that this particular entity is Bhagwan, you know, and I pass it. Then it has to be self-awareness for all these six aspects. I Means totally convinced that that uh, you know whatever we are seeing is superimposition, and the reality is uh, the main thing. And I am that that kind of deep awareness. Yeah. So I think that you know every Swami has his own way of expressing these verses. and for us you know all are important right then then we can if we hear a few different kinds of explanation then it sinks in more any other thing about bhagavad gita we have few minutes or if not i, I totally uh, love your uh, example of that guru holding the the tree you know <laughs> It it's a very simple example but very powerful that's why i remember it always i think wow what a fantastic example because hum log ko hamesha aise lagta hai ki everybody is uh, you know piling up on me and i'm you know whatever but it's like we, it's it's our problem actually and in the, in the western world also they have this terms create your boundary and falana dikha they do say in psychology mein bolte hain you know like uh, suppose in some in the relationship also or something it's becoming very difficult for people so then you have to create your boundary they call it right? it's the same concept is there but here bhagwan is explaining in a much much deeper way okay so i'm going to close bhagavad gita here सर्वधर्मान परीत्यज मेक शरण व्रज अहम तापेभ्य मोक्षा माशुच हरि ओं श्रीगुभ्यो नम हरि ओं